Hi, I'm Dr. Valerie Lamb from Insight Vision Center Optometry, and today I want to talk to you about vision problems that affect learning. I want to tell you a story about Brandon. Brandon was an eight-year-old boy who didn't really like to read. Um, he was struggling a little bit in school and uh, really had some symptoms of you know, rubbing his eyes after he was reading, putting his head down, saying that he was tired. Um, and when he did try to read, he would tend to skip words or lose his place often. And sometimes he'd have to use his finger to kind of try to keep his place because it was really hard for him to know where he was. Um, so mom brought Brandon to the local optometrist and said, you know, can you have his eyes checked? Um, and he read 2020 on the eye chart, and optometrist said he doesn't need any glasses, his vision seems fine. But mom knew. She said, you know, I still suspect there's something going on. So she brought Brandon over to our office, um, and I did a visual efficiency evaluation for Brandon, and I found a couple things. Even though Brandon saw 2020 on the eye chart, Brandon actually had some issues with his vision system. First of all, Brandon had a condition that we call convergence insufficiency. This is an inability for Brandon's eyes to be able to turn inward and to sustain that posture that's necessary for reading. This was causing him to have a little bit of double vision or blurry vision intermittently when he was trying to focus. Secondly, we found that Brandon had a tracking problem. So when Brandon's eyes were trying to move across the page from left to right as he was reading his text, I noticed his eyes were bouncing all over the place. Sometimes they would jump a couple words, sometimes they would jump backwards, or even jump two lines down. And that was causing Brandon difficulty to be able to pay attention to what he was reading. And this was causing Brandon to have some difficulty being able to keep up with what he was reading because he was working so hard to try to figure out where his eyes should go. So we enrolled Brandon in our vision therapy program and we worked on a lot of exercises with him. We worked on his tracking skills, getting his eyes to look in the right spot at the right time, and also having him track letters and working on timing and speed with him. Second thing we worked on was his muscle system. So we worked on Brandon improving his ability to focus his eyes and to sustain that so it didn't go blurry on him and also to improve his flexibility so Brandon's eyes could turn in easily and it wouldn't make his eyes tired or give him a headache. I'm happy to report that Brandon is one of our successful graduates. A year after vision therapy, Brandon is now reading at grade level. He's doing much better in school. He doesn't rub his eyes anymore. Um, and the most important thing is he actually enjoys it now. So this is just an example of when, sometimes when there's a learning struggle, don't forget to get vision checked. Sometimes it could be an underlying vision problem that was causing the student to struggle in a topic like reading. If you suspect that you or your child or a loved one may be struggling with a vision-related learning problem, uh, bring them in. Have them evaluated to see if vision is the missing link that could be the key to their success.